What's up guys, it's James with the FAM Real Estate Group. So today we're going to be reviewing um, USDA loan and what are the benefits of using USDA loan, um, you know, what is it, right? Um, pretty much USDA loan is a program where the government offer 100% financing to purchase um, a home. and um, in order for you to qualify this, there's a couple of things. One is an income requirement, and then two, you have to buy properties in more of the outskirt of the city. Um, and then, you know, in this video, we're going to go deep dive into kind of, you know, what are the benefits, you know, what part of town can you use this loan program for, um, pretty much all the questions that you have here that we're going to re be reviewing, like how do I qualify for a USDA loan? Uh, does California offer USDA loan? Is these type of loan bad? Um, you know, what is the income, like minimum income requirement for a USDA loan? Um, how much can I buy, um, you know, using USDA loan? Um, do seller, you know, like do seller um, use USDA loan? Do they like them, right? Um, and then we'll, we'll go on and talk about, you know, do you pay a PMI? Um, with USDA loan. So PMI is private mortgage insurance. Um, and then we're going to go through like the debt to income ratio of the USDA loan and um, pretty much everything that you need to know. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and dive into um, pretty much this section. So currently we are in Fresno, California. And what you want to do is you want to go to USDA. Uh, the U.S. Department of Agricultural, like Rural Development, um, and you want to look for pretty much which area is qualified for USDA loan. Okay, um, so currently um, it's a pretty simple map. You just Google search it, right? And then from Google, all you need to do is um, click on the USDA site, which is the eligibility site. Okay, um, I'll come up with this map, and all you need to do is zoom in, but Essentially, um, since we're in Fresno, the uh, yellow right here currently means that those are um, non those are non eligible area. Okay, so ineligible area. So all the yellow is not eligible, right? Um, and you see here that uh, Fowler, Selma, and then if you look here, right, which is up in Madera, right here, go a little closer. Um, let me go, go a little closer. You see that uh, Madera, believe it or not, okay, Avenue 9, Avenue 12, Madera Rancho, which is the Riverstone area. That area is qualified for 100% um, financing zero down um, program, okay, um, by the government, so which is really good. Um, one other thing about the USDA loan is that. Uh, um, you don't have to pay private mortgage insurance, um, which is really good. Okay, um, and then from there, you can literally buy from Kerman, right? Zero down, Fowler, zero down. Really nice area. Um, so, so how do we find out if we qualify or not? Okay, so according to pretty much um, the uh, one of the thing is that we have to look at our income, right? Do our income meet the uh, the eligibility, right? So there's two things that, well, a couple of things, um, income requirement, and then making sure that we use that as a primary resident. And then we have to be a citizen, a non-citizen national or a qualified alien, okay? Um, of course, talk to your specific lender about this, um, the, the program and, and how you can take advantage of zero down programs um and just take advantage of all these really good um programs you know that can help you get into a home asap um it's really to help out um you know low income area and help to develop more of like the outskirt okay of all these community okay so let's go ahead and figure out like so what about what are the income requirements so it's based on quite a bit of um things right currently it's based on one um how many households that you have so for example there's a really good income calculator right here this right here is 
the uh, guaranteed housing program okay limits in California and since we're in Fresno right we're seeing that the um, the uh, modification like loan right which is the max uh, income that you can have right is about ninety one thousand nine hundred dollars okay um, the, so this loan is better than I would say is better than FHA in rural area just because there's no PMI and you can take advantage of the zero uh, you can take advantage of the zero down you don't have to put three and a half percent down and all that fun stuff so if there's five people that's living in your house um, your income can be in the 121,000 okay um, which is really nice okay um, so uh, 91,000 so what can you afford and what can you buy with 91,000 um, so you know from there what you want to look at is you want to look at the mortgage calculator okay so let's just say you make about 91,000 in California and we are going to edit it with taxes and insurance and everything so property tax should be yearly home insurance should be around 500 okay uh, private and mortgage insurance because we're a USDA loan um, there's really no private mortgage insurance on that um, or if you do conventional there's very limited private mortgage insurance on that um, property tax should be a little bit lower um, property tax should be around five hundred dollars a month or I'll just say five hundred thousand five thousand dollars a year um, so with ninety thousand right um, you can afford up to four hundred and ninety nine thousand so let's just say you make six thousand dollars a month right so six times twelve that's seventy two so let's say you make seventy two thousand dollars a year right gross um, and then interest rate is around three percent okay um, you're looking at zero debt zero down payment property tax you're looking around you're able to purchase in the um, 400 and uh, 3,000 okay um, which is relatively low considering um, concerning if you have no debt so like how we how we do things right if, is that if we're making six thousand dollars a six thousand dollars a year right um, the number is times that okay uh, we times that by 0.41 that gives us 24 we divide that by 50 okay oops so six sixty six thousand times 0.45 well, well let's clear that 0.41 right and that gives us 2400 and then you divide that by 50 okay and then you times that by 10,000 okay and then you subtract taxes insurance and all that fun stuff which is around um, I would say you, you should you should probably subtract 90 grand worth of it yeah that, that, that would leave you to about 400,000 which is which sounds about right okay so 40 so 40,000 so it'll, it'll you'll hit around 40,000 roughly if you're able to use this um, portion of, of everything um, so with 600,000 I mean with 6,000 that's what you kind of are able to afford okay um, so let's go into pretty much uh, what is a USDA loan and how you get started so the, the first question to this would be do I like how do I qualify for a USDA loan okay so it's pretty simple um, there's three things that you need to understand the income um, and then also making sure that you have um, you're a qualified resident right I mean you're using the property for living okay um, and you got to make sure that your annual um, your adjusted annual household income doesn't exceed the moderate uh, income limit okay um, so that's what you wanna you wanna do okay and, and, and I just showed you that already and um, 
does California have USDA loan? Yes, California does have USDA loan. Um, what is bad about USDA loan? So one of the things that is bad about USDA loan is um, one, like geographically, okay, geographically, that's something that's bad about USDA loan. Like you can't just buy it in the industry. You have to buy in the outskirt, um, which a lot of people can't really do. Um, let's see, what is USDA loan and who qualified for it? Okay. Um, it's pretty much a zero down payment program and for first time home buyer and you can buy in the rural area. Um, pretty much is guaranteed by the US housing department, okay? Um, is it hard to get a USDA loan? Um, you know, if you're working with an experienced lender, it shouldn't be that bad. It shouldn't be hard. Um, uh, it doesn't require like a high credit score or it doesn't require like a down like a high down payment. So pretty much, uh, you know, just you don't know unless you ask, okay? Um, of course, minimum income requirement, you already know that, which is 91,000. What is the maximum purchase price of the USDA loan? So that's a really good one. Um, the maximum purchase price for a USDA loan, the buyer can finance up to 100% of the USDA loan program, okay? Um, so based on just the mortgage rate, um at that time so if we're looking at three and a half percent in mortgage um yearly mortgage it it, it varies based on um the mortgage rate okay so you're looking at probably around four hundred and twenty thousand to four hundred and, and, and ten thousand okay uh do seller like usda loan all seller care about is can you net them the most money um, with the less amount of stress so if the buyer agent can communicate that to the seller um, and then also if the buyer agent can assure the seller that you can close on the loan then it shouldn't be an issue okay where are my chance of getting usda loan it's pretty high i mean it's very common um so you know is there an annual fee for usda loan there is a usda loan fee um, but it's not normally it's financed into the loan right so right now currently it's a quarter of a percent of the loan amount okay um but it's always it's financing the fee and what you can do once you get the usda loan is you can refinance it after a couple of months after six months into something that's more favorable um but you know it's just something for you to get into a house uh, do you pay pmi um, using usda loan so the question would be um, the answer would be no, you don't pay PMI. That's the benefit of USDA loan. So what is PMI? PMI is like private mortgage insurance, okay? Can you uh, put closing costs into USDA loan? So no, it depends, right? Like, um, but right here, it says typically um, you cannot pay, um, typically you cannot get it paid for closing costs using the loan as referred to rolling to, um, also referring to rolling to closing up, um, basically saying, however, USDA loan allow borrower to roll some um, of the closing costs into their mortgage. Okay, so it's just some. And closing costs normally is about 2% of the purchase price. And what enclosed into closing costs is insurance, taxes, um, and all that fun stuff. Okay, um, escrow, lender fees, and all that. So, um, so USDA loan fund for 2021. Um, yeah, it does fund. Uh, what is the minimum debt to income ratio? Okay, that's about 41, what 41 percent. Um, can I get a USDA loan with a 500 credit score? So in order for you to qualify for a USDA loan, right? Um, normally, um, you need about a 640 requirement. Okay. Um, so of course we'll go through that. Um, is you is USDA a FHA loan? So the quick answer is, is um, FHA, USDA, VA, um, they're all government backed program, okay, by the Department of Agriculture and the Fair Housing Administration. It's all backed by government loan. Therefore, it's a similar program, um, government backed, okay. Who paid for the appraisal for the USDA loan? So that comes into closing costs the appraisal is closing costs okay um let's keep going 
uh, how how long does it take to close on a USDA loan? So that's a really good question. It's normally a couple, you know, it shouldn't take that long. It's as long as um, three weeks to four weeks. It really depends on how fast the lender work and all the applications and file they are able to submit to the uh, program. Okay, it takes it should be three to six months. I mean, three to six weeks, um, or even three to four weeks. Okay, depending on the purchasing contract. Okay, that's pretty much it with regarding about the USDA loan and what you can uh, get and what you can't get with it. Um, I do advise to talk to a lender, but you know if you're looking to buy, um, you know in certain area of the city, and if you know you don't have that much money down, um, USDA loan is really good uh, for that. All right, um, so it's just as good as any other programs out there. So anyways, if you have any more questions, do connect to your local lender. If you have any further question about us, you know, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Our contact, is, our contact information is down below or just drop a comment or whatever. We can help you with all that information. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Peace and love, guys. This is uh, James.